Hi guys and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be showing and demonstrating how we plan our caravan holidays. So join me in the house today as in a few weeks time we're going to be uh, setting off on our uh, second trip of the year. So let's go and take over to the computer and uh, I'll show you how we do it. Up, we're going to start with the caravan and motorhome club. So first off go to UK holidays and search by map if you're looking for a UK holiday. Now we can use the map and we can find the area we want to go to. In this particular video we're searching around the Plymouth and Dartmoor area. Zoom in and uh, the little green markers mean there's a site and uh, the little uh, red shows certified locations. So we're going to choose here Modbury Caravan Club site just as an example and as you can see it gives you a few details here and it gives you what uh, the, the Caravan Club site offers. You can then click on the site and it will give you the full in-depth uh, reviews and also in-depth look at the site. Here we are we're in the booking place and you can then check availability and book as many nights as you so wish at your particular site. Next up we're going to use the camping and caravanning club. This is the same, choose your area, in this case southwest England and here's the sites. So here we've actually stayed at California Cross, uh, quite a nice site that one actually, we stayed there many years ago but I can just remember it. also stayed at uh, a few other of their sites uh, around the area but this time we're looking at Tavistock camping and caravanning club site again you can check out reviews uh, what the site offers and in this case you get 10% off if you're one of their members here's some reviews and it's got five stars which is always nice to see as before click the book it button and we can book your pitch now the last one we could use is the best of British sites. Now these are five star sites uh, and they are the best. They really are good. So we're gonna click the children welcome bar and uh, we've been to a few of these. We've been to Highlands End in Bridgeport there. It's not too far away from where we live. There's loads of different sites here all over the, all over the place. We've been to Wareham Forest, the first place we took our unicorn. We went to South Lichen Manor at the end of last year, that was quite a nice site. We've also been to Hidden Valley, not good TV signal there, but a really tranquil little site there. Very, very nice. But yeah, this is always good if you're looking for one of those top class caravan sites, so definitely check them out. Also, you could have to do a quick Google search here, I'm just going to do caravan sites near Plymouth. And we've again stayed at Riverside, that's an oldest sort of site on the outside of Plymouth. Stayed there a few times. And also we've stayed at Brixton Caravan and Camping Park. That's again quite a sort of an old site, but really good value for money. Click on more places and all the different sites that come up. Now in this uh, particular case, I'm going to choose Whitsam Bay Holiday Park. I've stayed here so many times, I can't, I can't even count. When I wasn't too old, we used to stay in the lodges down there and uh, the caravan used to come down as well with grandma and grandpa. They do brilliant touring pictures here and yeah, we're just going to have a look and it gives, have a look on their websites and it will show all the information. So definitely check out private sites. You've chosen the site and now you need to get to the site. And now we're going to uh, get uh, and plan our way to the site. And we're going to be using Google Maps and via Michelin. Oh, and Google Street View, just to see where we're going. Next up, I'm going to show you how to plan your route. Now, firstly, we don't live in Taunton. We live near, we live near there. It's just a place just to show you. So I would first recommend using Google Maps and uh, check the route out. Now, this 
roots taking us all over A roads, which is fantastic. We don't want to be going down any really small B roads, especially in the middle of Dartmoor, because Dartmoor can get really narrow, and some A roads, well, there be roads everywhere else. As you can see, this, this road over here, I've been over there many times through two bridges in Princetown. That's a really, really narrow road, so definitely don't recommend going over if you're going to this site. You could obviously also change the way of going. Now, I'm, we'll, we'll probably end up going the A38, as we know that road. As you can see, I'm just changing the route because it was trying to take me through a very, very, very small road. So I just moved it to a larger road, and uh, here's the site. I'm gonna go and get the little yellow man and drop it just so I can see what the entrance and exit is like, what the approach road is like, and if there's gonna be a large enough gap to get the caravan through. And as you can see, this site has a really, really good access road. I highly recommend going onto YouTube and putting in the site and a site looking at site arrival videos. This is via Michelin. I like via Michelin for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it gives you a selection of good routes but also it tells you how much your route is gonna be and you can also add a caravan, which is super helpful. It's really, really clear and I really like it. So you've got there, you've planned your site, you've got there and now you need to think of where to go. And I'm gonna show you how to find the best visitor attractions and also uh, how we're gonna find some lovely cycle rides and uh, other attractions around the area. So come on. So this is a place that we've actually stayed at uh, and we've been to, Canantine Falls. And I found this place by very simply having a quick look on the internet at visitor attractions around the area. And obviously this has got really good reviews. Next, I'm gonna open up Google Maps again. And as you can see, we can just see there's a place in the corner called Barreta Reservoir. This looks a lovely place. And if you're going to a national park like we are, highly recommend going on the visit uh, park page. So this is Visit Dartmoor. We're also members of the National Trust, so we always tend to go to a couple of places whilst we're there, and this is Buckland Abbey. Bike Map is a fantastic service, which is free online if you're looking at bike rides. There are so many on there, and here's one, Tavistock Canal uh, uh, Road, and this looks perfect for us. So definitely check bikemap.net, but there'll be links to all of these down below. So guys, that is our caravan holidays uh, all planned. Now I tend to do the first bit booking the caravan site way in advance. So we usually book our sites at the start of the year, sort of January time for our mid uh, year holiday in sort of July time. And uh, I do the research bit of where we're planning to go. We usually have a little discussion about where we want to go. And then I usually find some sites around here. Now, the bit I've just shown you, sort of shown the attractions and the maps, I do that sort of two weeks before, like I am now, sort of just before the holiday. And then I pr usually print it all off, put it in a folder along with the booking confirmations. Uh, it's not essential, but we always like to take a confirmation of the booking just in case. And, uh, we, you know, I also like to research the area for mobile phone signals, uh, Wi-Fi, all that, you know, kind of thing, just so we're prepared when we get there. Now also remember to check with the site if they've got special requirements. Usually it says on the website, so I know some sites don't require, only allow green toilet chemical for sing's sake, or they haven't got very good TV signals, so you're gonna need a booster cable. There's things like this that you need to be really, really careful of. So now the holiday's booked, uh, it won't be too long and we'll be getting away. And obviously there'll be holiday vlogs from this site, which is Tavistock Camping and Caravanning Club site. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did remember to give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments or questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll see you very soon. Okay, take care, bye now, bye. bye.